How's it going guys, RXXC here with another video from the New York uh, Toy Fair. Um, it's, uh, this is Monday of me recording this, probably posting it on Tuesday, uh, but I think it wrapped up on Monday today. Um, I had a good day, I just got back from WWE Monday Night Raw, it was in Lafayette, Louisiana. Got me a Finn Balor shirt, my boy won, he teamed up with Ricochet, it was a good night. I'm really excited. And then also all of the pictures from the New York Toy Fair dropped thanks to Kodak. He went in with a high quality camera and snapped all these pictures. He went in with his phone, got up real close. We have perfect looks at all of the new Bakugan. So if you don't want to see them, I'm giving you a chance now to back away, shut this down, go uh, run and hide because I'm about to take a very good look at all these and uh, cry at how good some of them look. So, three, two, one, go away or you're going to get spoiled. So, um, just like last time, go ahead and go to Twitter. Uh, I'm at uh, 199 if somebody wants to follow me real quick and uh, help me get to 200. But um, go down and find your boy Kodak and he has posted this thread. So go to Kodak right here. Shout out to him. I don't think my face is covering him, but right there. Um, so he went in, obviously he was there and he posted this thread, so all you gotta do is go to the thread and he posted stuff. So last chance, you're about to see new stuff. Are you ready? All right, so we have um, the, uh, uh, <laughs> name is escaping me right now, Viserox uh, Pyrus that we saw. Now this is all the same stuff that we saw the other day, except now it's closer and uh, really close and high, higher definition. So we have uh, Viserox here, and then now we get a better look at Trino. So it is the Triceratops looking Bakugan. Um, uh, it, uh, at least that's what it's seeming like. I mean, we still don't have an exact name of it, uh, but that's what it's looking like. So there's a darkest one. You can see his horns here. His feet are all propped up. So it's kind of weird. I think these little things kind of pop out like arms. I think it's a, a little uh, manual piece there. So it looks like he's standing up on two legs from the front. Uh, so I think that's kind of how they went with that. Or this is just a core version, and what we saw in the episode was a Ultra. So that's what I'm banking on. But uh, here we go. We're going to keep moving on. There's a lot of images, guys, so get ready. Uh, so here's Charno again in uh, uh, Aquas form. I like the orange accents. He's very nice, very nice. He's a Mantanoid. We've seen him before. Here is Diamond Darkest Phaedrus. It looks incredible. Uh, it's kind of weird with the clear plastic because we can't really get a good look at him, but trust me, there's couple images of him here in the future it looks so good it's like a bigger better fangzor he's like twice the length because his head actually kind of pops out a little more he's got a really long piece here and then uh his tail kind of comes out too so he's like uh what is this i accept the risk of looking at my bakugan awesome pictures okay <laughs> all right so uh we're gonna get a better look at him because the clear plastic is, is kind of hard to look at we're gonna get a better look at him in here in a second all right so we get a really good hd picture of kubo uh this is ventus kubo he's looking real cute and stuff and the ears kind of pop out in different ways so i don't know and then also we get an aquas viscerox which is his uh base color or his, his normal color so that's uh that is uh shun's bakugan actually he uh, gets it from his dad, I think. I don't remember. Somewhere in the episode. All right. Uh, so that's it for that post. He has a bunch of these posts, guys. So make sure that you go through all of them. Oop. I keep scrolling down. All right. So second one here. We have a Pyrus Gorthion. Uh, I don't know if this is the Ultra or the Core. I think that this, it, it looks like the Ultra. Uh, it's big and bad looking. Um, but I, I think this is the Core because... Here it is in diamond, uh, very nice. It's Hayas. Um, uh, another Viserox there, and a, another look at Trino, but his head's kind of like halfway coming out. I don't know why they showed that off. It's kind of weird, but it's there. Uh, let's keep going. Now this thing, I don't know what this is. It's it looks like a core. Um, uh, a core version of the Phoenix Bakugan, which they did show. Um, but it, I don't know, it's strange because it doesn't necessarily look like it. Uh, so this is something they might have to actually uh, explain to us because I don't have an idea of what this one is. I, I don't see names or anything. Of course, he was just posting images. So um, this is the only one that I've seen that we don't necessarily know exactly what it is. 
uh, keep going. Here is Hydronoid, and I'm assuming Ultra because it just looks incredible. Hydronoid Ultra. It looks so good. So when we saw it in the Hong Kong Toy Fair, Hong Kong, Hong Kong Toy Fair image, uh, it, I thought it I thought it was the, the big Phoenix Bakugan because it looked like it was a big bird like kind of flying over. But now I see that those wing things were actually Hydronoid's heads reaching over uh, his body. He looks so cool. Um, this thing's going to look awesome in ball form because it's going to have his heads on the outside like that. So you're always going to know, be able to know which one he is, and it just looks really good with the Ventus. There are other pictures here of him. Uh, this is Gorthion. I think this is Gorthion Ultra. Um, I, I don't know. He just looks meaner, and I think that that's kind of what they're going for with the Ultras. All right, so we have better looks at these things, but here again is Diamond Dragonoid Ultra. Um, I wish this image was clearer because... It would be our best image of the Diamond Dragonoid Ultra. And then this is that Hyper Dragonoid that we saw. Uh, Hyper Dragonoid, Titan Dragonoid, uh, whatever people want to call it. I, I don't remember exactly what it is. But um, here, here, is, here he is, but there's a better picture of it in Chaos form that we're going to see here in a second. So I think that that's that. Again, don't know... I don't know what this is. Leave it in the comments if you know exactly what it is, because I want to know. All right, this looks so good. This is Orless... Hydronoid Ultra. It looks so cool. It looks very cool. His head is silver. It's like it's like they, they changed the color or they fixed the color. I don't know. Maybe these are prototype colors. I don't know. But it looks so much more gold and so much like harsher silver. It looks incredible. Um, I'm very excited for this one. Uh, I'll definitely, definitely be buying this. Looks so good. Um, this is, I, I'm assuming that this is Viserox Ultra. I know, I know I said the Hornet thing uh, from Kodok the other day. Uh, but uh, he's got like this big crab claw here. Like, it's definitely Viserox Ultra, I think. Um, that that's what I'm going with anyway. He, he's got the same head, the same kind of eye thing going on. I don't know. We'll see as we go through. So this is Kellyon, uh, Kellyon Darkus. Uh, so I was right when I was looking at it yesterday. So that's pretty cool. Um, so he he does look like the big ox-looking dragon creature thing with the big thing on his back. Uh, so this is Kellyon. They also have this picture of a diamond version, but he doesn't have horns. So, uh, not entirely sure what's going on there. Maybe they fold out, or I'm just not seeing it, because that's happened before. But, I mean, it looks like they just connected the head here under this screw. And that's the screw, and then they're right there. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe this was a early version of it that they wanted to just put up for display. But we're getting a Pyrus Diamond Kellyon, and I'm assuming this is Ultra. So, that's exciting. I like Kellyon. I think he has a cool design. Uh, so, I think, is this what I just clicked on? Nope. We have an Ultra Tertonium. Looking real cool. I love his eyes. I love Tertonium. I love turtles. That's one of my like favorite uh, creature types to build around. I think you can do a lot of things with him. And Tertonium looks so cool. I love him. Uh, I think he's going to be pretty cool in ball form. Um, I don't know how he's going to open. It looks like this has a pretty nifty spring system in there. So, he might just like pop up out of that. Uh, so we'll see. So there's Tertonium Ultra. All right, so now we're getting into some cool stuff. So this, Pyravian. I think that's the name of the guy. Yeah, Pyravian. So this is that, um, like, uh, prototype Bakugan that I saw on that uh, desk picture that I posted on Reddit or whatever. I talked about in one of my videos, too. Um, so this is Pyravian. So they changed the head of the thing, and they put his horn. So if you've been watching the anime, uh, Pyravian is an oralist form on that, and he is uh, flying around and, like, sucking up Bakugan, and I, I don't know, it's crazy. The show's getting pretty cool. But uh, he's got the big distinct horn on his head, and this is him. He looks awesome. I love it. This is the Pyrus version. Uh, there's more. We have a, a, a Aquas Ult Nilius Ultra. Really cool. Uh, Aquas, Vis uh, I'm, again, I'm saying Viserox Ultra. He's definitely got a crab claw here and a crab claw there. He's definitely Viserox Ultra. Let's go ahead and call it right now. I'm calling it. Um, a Diamond Webam Inventus. It looks cool. I love it. Webam looks awesome. We're uh, big fans of Webam uh, over here. Um, going through this again, here's a Pyrus version of the Hydra. Uh, did we see this already? I don't know if we saw this already, but I just love it. I think we looked at it already. So Okay, so here is the Dragonoid figure. So this is Chaos. Can I zoom in any more than this? Come on. Here we go. So this is the Chaos version of the special Dragonoid, Titan Dragonoid, Hyper Dragonoid. I, I don't remember. I don't care. I'm so excited about how the, how this looks. It looks incredible. 
It looks so mean. It's got these sharp teeth. It's got the big horn. It's got the big fat wings coming out the side. We have an Aquas Pyravian over here. Let's just throw it out to the side. And then Auralis, uh Viserox Ultra back there. Throw that to the side because this thing is incredible. I love it. I love the design. I want them to keep moving on. Make more Dragonoids. This thing is sick. They also have an Indarkus, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we're getting the big giant uh, Bakugan. I forgot what they were called. They're called... Deca, Deca Bakugan. Yeah, so they're you know about this big, about baseball size, I think, relatively. And uh, so these are the first one, two, three, four, five of uh, those that we're going to be getting. I'm not, I'm not too big on these. That's more of a collectible thing, and uh, I just uh, I want the real figures. But to each their own. Go for it. Diamond Cubo. Uh, yes, <laughs> Cubo's cool. Uh, he's very cute, and uh, like his whole head is like silver. Or like I, I don't know if that's going to be the white for Chaos or not, but I like it silver like this, and then the rest of them's diamond, so that's cool. Uh, we have an Auralis uh, Trino here, so I like this coloration of him the best for sure so far. Um, so I'll, I'll definitely be getting that version of him. All right, we have a couple more posts to go through. So uh, this is a little blurry, so we're not going to look at it. Uh, this is basically the image we got yesterday, I think. Yeah, pretty much different angle. Um, same thing. Yeah, so we don't need those. But, uh, so let's take a look at this because I found this to be interesting. So this is the big, this is the packaging for the Dragonoid Maximus figure. So he, no, he doesn't go in all the way into ball form. He, uh, sets up like this and then he ends up like this. Looks really cool. But, um, we get a Titan Dragonoid figure and he's a base figure. So he himself... <laughs> is is this I, I don't know he's 700 b three attack for pyrus with a red shield and a green fist so how you use it in the game i don't know there's an ability card here that they're not showing us that comes with it that might do something i, I personally i don't want this thing to have anything to do with the card game uh i i, I just don't want it to I, I love it as a figure i'm going to put it on my shelf above my computer here no problem um, but what I'm assuming is that this is Titan Dragonoid. This figure is going to come with him here. This is him right here. And he is the one that lands in this little catching port here that makes him open. There's videos of that on Twitter if you haven't seen yet. So I, I guess that this is Titan Dragonoid's figure. Uh, he just kind of snakes out, falls on his face. I don't mind that. People have a big deal with that on Reddit. I, I don't really... I don't really care. I mean, it opens up and it's a figure. Just pick it up if you want to look at it. I, it's pretty cool. For rolling purposes, it works. It opens and it's going to give us another Dragonoid to work with. He's cool. He's got like beefy strong arms. I, I like the design of it, even if he falls on his face. Maybe, you know, maybe it fell down in the case for something when they were displaying it. Who knows? Um, so that is the look at Titan Dragonoid and Dragonoid uh, Maximus. I love this art up here too. I guess, I guess that's the Maximus art. I don't know. I hope we get a card for that because I, this art's really cool. Yeah. So, moving on. Alright, so uh, if you haven't seen, this is Orlis Fangzor. Alright, we, we, uh, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the, the Ultra Fangzor. Um, but it, it's really cool how big it is. <laughs> they filled every nook and cranny of a sphere with things that can open to create this huge snake. I mean, if you were able to detach this and stretch it out, I mean, this thing's probably six inches long. So, I mean, he's huge. Got another look at WebM here. I think that's just a Hydra's Ultra diamond back there. WebM again, Serpentis, seen those. Uh, this is a good look at Darkest Cindy's core. Um, we haven't seen him yet. I, I love this design. Some people are calling him just a big chunk, but I, I really like the Cindy's core design. Uh, here's a really good look at it, HD look, uh, courtesy of Kodak again. Um, but I, I don't know, I like this design. He looks like a little soldier man. Uh, I'm really into it. I love the little sword. Looks like you just kind of fold it up, stick it in, and fold it. He looks like he's going to be really easy, easy to close. I like it. Hopefully he has a good card. Uh, so that. Uh, here is a new Titan Garganoid Ultra card, which is 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, it's 5 cost to put down. And it gets one, is it zero attack? It has 100B, oh, okay, so I read it wrong earlier, so I was getting really excited for this. But uh, it's going to get 100B for each energy card you have in play. So 
Um, I think, I, I mean, it looks like it says zero right there for the attack. So, um, I don't know. You're going to have to play it with something to raise its B power. Uh, maybe some good cores or something. Or maybe this would be a good one to launch into your team attack with. Uh, but the art looks mm, awesome. If I can get a, a good zoom in on it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm really into that card, though. Um, nothing else really new. I think these are new. Aqua Splash. 5 energy for 1200B. Um, that's not completely out of the realm of possibility for cost. Uh, it's definitely a late game card. Uh, Thunder Sword, 2 energy for 2 Frost Strike. Um, not entirely sure how good Frost Strike is at this point in the game. Um, seeming like flip cards are getting phased out from people uh, talking about them. I'm <coughs> only playing a couple now. Uh, just the really good ones. Um, so we'll, we'll see how this goes once new flip cards come out. <coughs> Excuse me. I was uh, yelling at Finn Balor tonight a little too much. This card is new. Uh, trick, trick, something? I, I don't know. Uh, it's a zero cost and it says play. And it's chaos, so I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, all these other ones are uh, we've seen before. <coughs> Pirate Cindy's Core. Um, I like this one. Uh, I definitely like the Pyrus colors on Cindius very much. Uh, that's that. Uh, here we go. Here's Phaedrus. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, here is Phaedrus. Uh, I don't want to say Ultra because I don't know yet, uh, but I think so. Um, but I like him. He's, he's got a th he's got a thicker head than I thought they were going to give it. Uh, so I, I like the design of him. I like his little. Uh, flary wing things on his arms. I, I like the design of Phaedrus. I think we get another one here. Darkest Phaedrus. So this is his core color. Um, uh, this one I like the most for sure. Uh, this is definitely my favorite coloration of him or, or her. And Darkest Phaedrus in the show is a female. So uh, I'll give it to her. I like it. Very good uh, coloration there. Uh, Ventus. Uh, I do love Ventus. And oh my god, there's a Chaos Dragonoid right behind it. Oh, I didn't see it earlier. Oh man, everybody gets to complete their Dragonoid collection now. That looks really good in white with the blue accents. I love it. Ooh, I love it a lot. Yeah, 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 I'm into that. I'm into that. I think now we get a good look at... Oh, here's Kelly on again. Just a different angle. We saw him earlier. Uh, there is another Pyravian here. And here we go. Here we go. I, I am so excited for this Bakugan. It, I don't. I I am in love with the. Uh, this is Ultra Pegatrix. If you're interested, cool. Um, uh, this is um, I forgot the name of it, but it's that bird-looking Bakugan horseman thing. Um, it's late at night. I can't remember the name. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, I actually like the design of this. It's uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, we were right looking at these two in the Hong Kong, Hong Kong, I said Hong Kong again, Hong Kong picture, um, but we're going to look at that here in a second. I, I have to get, I don't think you'll understand how excited I am about Lupithion, Tritonium, Darkest Lupithion, it looks, it looks incredible to me. I, I love the design, he's got like Wolverine claws on him, the feet stick out and they got claws on him, his head is so like visceral, they did such a good job. I'm so happy. I need every single coloration of him, every card, everything about him. It's incredible. And uh, if you don't feel that way, I'm sorry. Uh, but I love it. Uh, we get Tertonium Core and Chaos. But, of course, whatever. There's a Darkest Lupithion behind it. Uh, it's all I care about. It's incredible. Um, this is now taking my spot. Uh, it is. It is taking my favorite Bakugan spot away from Trox. Sorry. Uh, I love Trox to death, but this thing is incredible. Uh, I can't I can't say anything else about it. Uh, here's another one of these. This is the uh, Aquas version. God, I wish I knew the name of it. Sorry. Um, it, it's on the Bakugan wiki if you want to go look for it. Uh, but I like the Aquas coloration of it. I, I think this... I, 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 like the, I like the style of this. It looks like it's going to fold up kind of like uh, Serpentis does with the head going backwards, so that'll be cool. I like that fold-up style. Another Pyravian here, Inventus. I like this coloration, for sure. 
I think it's strange that we didn't see the Oralis coloration because that is what we see in the show. So um, maybe we'll get a good look at that uh, later. And again, I think this is Pyravian. It looks really dragony, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, and oh man, oh, he's incredible. Just, just fantastic. There's nothing else to say. All right, let's get a good look at this because I definitely blew over. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, Pegatrix Ultra, the Orlis version. Uh, I, I actually love the design. Uh, this horn is manual, so when he pops up, he doesn't necessarily look look, look like a Pegatrix, uh, a Pega, a Pegasus until you lift his horn up. It's just kind of a winged horse, um, but very cool. He, he's kind of like up and rearing. Uh, I like the idea of the design of this. I, I think it works really well, and the fact that they could pull it off is actually pretty, honestly, pretty cool. To me so uh, oh here's a video so of is a there is a price so it says f they're saying 44.99 uh the little article or whatever we went over in the last video was like 50 dollars. so i don't know if they uh change the price on it but uh if it's 44.99 i'll still definitely get that <laughs> i want this thing and i want the the little uh dragonoid like we talked about earlier and i definitely want the card uh looks pretty cool so um, uh, I think Kodak posted uh, more HD pictures if you want to go to his channel uh, excuse me, <clears throat> Twitter I think he like separated the HD good ones away from the not so HD ones yeah so oh, man I'm so ready for this uh, I, I don't know all this stuff has me so excited they did, they, they're doing such a good job and I, I don't I don't know we uh, we're lucky to have these guys making this for us. So uh, make sure you go check out Kodak again. Um, he's the one who got all these images. I, I'm just the dude who's just crying in excitement over how great they are. Uh, like I said here, everything is so perfect. So um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I think that wraps up the Toy Fair news. Unless something else drops, uh, I feel like they're gonna drop names and stuff eventually, uh, like officially uh, for each one of these. <coughs> And um, we'll be able to uh, start seeing some cards here pretty soon, I hope. I want to start seeing set two cards uh, so we can um, grow the game a little more. Uh, I think it needs that about this time. So, Spin Master, release set two of the cards so we can start talking about them. Anyway, um, I love it. I hope you love it. Uh, if you did love it, uh, post down in the comments what you think your favorite was. Uh, obviously, Lupithion is mine. He has taken the place of Trox. As soon as I get my hands on one... Uh, I will make sure to uh, show you guys and uh, everything else, too, because I'm probably going to get all these. They all look incredible. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, uh, leave a comment down in the description if you want to talk about these guys. Uh, again, the one I didn't know of, uh, I definitely want to see what you guys think. I think it's a, I think it's a core Pyravian, but I, I don't know. It could be something else. Anyway, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow my Twitter if you want to be number 200. That'd be nice if it's not there already. Um, and then uh, subscribe to the channel. I said that already, didn't I? I don't know. I'm rambling because I, I, I just had such a good day. Such a good day. You gotta you gotta you gotta embrace the the good ones, especially when you're an adult and you have a job and you just gotta kind of power through some of the bad days. <laughs> anyway, uh, like the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, See you later. Bye. <laughs>